In the bikes, the early pace was set by the young Australian Daniel Sanders. He dropped off the pace in the middle of the stage, but a blinding second half saw him recover to finish fourth today. Once again on the wars though, this time it was a B taking a chunk out of his top lip. Jacko, mate, everything can happen. Even the stung white B. I thought I left him at home. I'm used to it anyway. So. You're Australian. As long as it's not my eyes, I don't care. I already look like this. I've had a rough, rough time. A good run too from Pablo Quintanilla. He closed out today's stage in second overall. Bizarre news though for Honda's Joan Bereda Bort. The Spanish rider did not stop at the refuel, carrying on into the stage. And while he then led, the inevitable happened and his Honda crawled to a stop out of fuel and out of this year's Dakar rally. Bereda, not a well man at the side of the stage. But the real fight came later on. Ricky Brabeck and rally leader Kevin Benavides were riding together and both pushing flat out, separated by just 51 seconds overall coming into today. But crucially, they both got lost at the 247 kilometer mark and dropped time. KTM Sam Sunderland was there to pick up the pieces. He was flying in the latter part of the stage, capitalizing on the mistakes of his competition, riding harder and faster than he has all rally. At 438 kilometers, he was nearly 10 minutes ahead of Benavides, but dropped two and a half in the final sector. Benavides continues to lead overall, but with today's stage win, Sunderland is now up to second just over four minutes back and happy to be riding his motorbike. I knew that today was, was my, uh, one of my last chance to try to, to win. Um, and I gave my all, you know, all day and uh, the boys up front did a great job. Um, and you know, I, can, I cannot be sad because I give everything I have and try my best and uh, didn't manage to take a, quite enough time, but I'm happy with, with my effort and um, yeah, we still have one day to go and many things can happen in one stage. But yeah, um, for a really tough day and a really difficult Dakar, but I'm super, super grateful for all the team and every, everybody that put all the work in and even to be able to be racing our bike in the desert right now, you know, with the situation in the world everywhere else. So can't complain and uh, gonna be happy to go and get some rest now.